toys, again, in the same way that we feel overwhelmed with our clothes sometimes, you know, I've got so much to wear, I haven't got anything to wear, overwhelmed with choice. I think kids can get exactly the same when it comes to toys. Um, how many parents have said, oh, he plays with that all the time, it's his favourite toy. Is it his favourite toy or has he just stopped seeing the rest of it because it's surrounded by everything else? Mm, so point. for kids it can be overwhelming as well. Um, obviously a lot of it can be passed on to friends, charity shops, but there are some bits... As an example, sent sentimental toy. Say it's been passed down generation to generation. Yeah. Obviously, you don't just want to take that to the charity shop. You might want to pass it on to children, grandchildren. So we create a memory box. Um, any sentimental items can live in the memory box. Oh, loving this. Yeah. And, and let's face it, <laughs> in 20 years' it. time, that's the bit that we enjoy going through. We kind of forget about the rest. It's not important. That's the bit that makes everybody's stomachs go. Yeah, that's no, that's very excited. good. Um, and the same with photographs. Albums take hours to make, hours and hours and hours to make. If you want to cross that off your list, photo boxes. Get them printed out on your phone. Choose your favourite ten once a month. Sent through the post, you know, like in the olden days, and then um, put them in a photo box. And then you've got them there. And that means yeah. you, can, you can look at them much easier as well. You show friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, we've gone through digital, but now we're back to, I think, feeling and touching and seeing, passing it yeah, down. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's such a nice thing I to do. I think so too. Yeah. And what about magazines and things like the equal little rack there? To magazines. Try to... Instead of saving all the magazines and, and thinking, right, I've saved that for a reason, there was an article I liked, put the article out. And then you don't need that. the whole lot. Put it again, little box favourite articles, put it straight in, so you've got a selected amount. What do you mean by secret storage? Secret, secret storage. storage. You've got somewhere you just put, you put, just put, you put little things underneath. Well, like under the bed or...? Yeah, making use of the space you've got. So if you have got space under the bed and you haven't, I don't know, got a loft or um, anywhere else to put your seasonal items, so... Oh, sorry. <laughs> put it's them right. in the box and put them under the bed. Um, make use of the space that you have. Every nook and cranny possible, um, as long as you're doing it wisely and mindfully. It's not just a, a place to shove things. It's a place to know exactly where things are, label them up. OK. You know, I like a labeller. I know, you love a label, mate. We're going to put, uh, <laughs> we're going to put Vicky's top, uh, top five cluttering tips on the, on the website. Keep organising simple, be realistic, invest what you can in practical storage, start afresh. Although that's four. And there's maybe another one in there. <laughs> Bite-sized chunk. Decluttered the tips, you <laughs> yeah. see, took out the ones you didn't really need. <laughs> took out number two. <laughs> Thank you.